Hey everyone, it's JW from Trade the Fifth. In this video, we are going to concentrate on changing the cloud, the EMA cloud thickness of the lines and or colors, turning the labels on and off on the black box breakouts and the 6-4 moving average if you want to change the colors and size of those. So we'll jump right in. Let's say that you want to change the EMA cloud. If you left click the EMA cloud, you'll see the little white dots that pop up on there. Right click it and it'll say format W5T black box breakout. This will take you to this screen right here. And the style in the EMA high, which is the top line, EMA low is the bottom line. Let's say that we want to be able to see this better. You're saying, guys, it's not, you know, it doesn't stick out as much. I want this to stick out a little bit more. Right click that. We'll go to style and we're gonna double the size of it and we're gonna make it bright yellow look how much bigger it is that it stands out now we do the, click the bottom one right click it format black box breakout we're gonna go to the bright yellow style we're gonna match it up with twice as big Click OK, and now your EMA cloud stands out a lot more than what it did before. Now, let's say you also want to change your 6-4 moving average. A lot of times, the, the blue guys, I will tell you, one of the reasons why it's blue instead of green, because it is uh, usually you go long when you're above the 6-4 moving average, or you go short when you're below. One of the reasons why that color is blues because when you get green you have your black box breakouts and your uh, candles they kind of blend together but let's let's right click this and there is your moving average by right now is blue let's go let's not go the neon green let's go to the regular green click OK and now it changes, so let's see. Let's zoom in here. That way, when your EMA cloud gets over, it not being the neon green like the candles, you can say, you know what? I think that's a little too thin. Let's update this again. Moving average by, moving average cell. So we're gonna go over style, and we're gonna go one more up. I like that better. That looks a little bit better. We're gonna go down here to the moving average cell, which is the bottom one, and we're gonna go one more bigger on it. But now, our moving averages stand out a lot better. Uh, some people don't like it this bright, but some people do. It make, helps you see where you're at, and it depends on your monitor size and the whole nine yards. All right, now we're gonna work on your black box breakouts. Now, in one of my original videos, we are, let's go down over here. You're gonna right click the screen, format analysis techniques, and we're gonna to go to black box breakout, format. Let's do this again, just so in case, so you don't know where you're at. One of my other videos, I showed you how to take the labels off. I'm gonna actually show you how to adjust the size of those. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna right click the screen, format analysis technique, you're gonna highlight the black box breakout box. Click format. And on there, we are going to have inputs, show entry and exit labels. We changed that to false in my other video, so we're gonna change this to true. And click okay and close. Now, it gives you the exact number. Now to me, I think these numbers are a little too big and it gets a little, kind of colludes the screen up a little bit. So let's change them. We're going to, you can, uh, you can click just on the number and it'll take you to the same spot. Right click, 
format text, yes, it is part of that analysis technique, which is the black box breakout. Or we can just right click the screen, format analysis technique, black box breakout, format, and <clears throat> we're gonna go to EMA, or your inputs, these are the different things that are on their text size. It is currently at 10. Let's put that at five. Click OK and close. And now those black box breakout indicators, that way you have the number that's over there. You don't, because a lot of times I have to click on there to see where it's at because I've taken them off. This way it makes it a little bit smaller, easier for you to see, and it doesn't uh, collude your screen up with a bunch of extra numbers that you don't need and that's it guys there's a quick little video here on adjusting the EMA cloud thickness and color of the lines you can change it to a different color if you wanted you cannot color them in that's only on thinkorswim uh, trade station you just have you can change the color of the lines if you want your EMA 64 moving average I changed the blue to green so that way we know when we get above the EMA cloud, above the 6.4 moving average, which is green to go. We go along. But, uh, hopefully that'll help. Thanks, guys.